WTFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials finish up 147, NASDAQ up 55, S&P's up 18 and a half. Gold, gold contract flat, 2,347 an ounce. We have silver flat, $27.45 an ounce. Light three crude, down a buck, $82.76 a barrel. Now check out copper, man. This is, this thing's on a run extraordinary. Up nine and a half cents. 467. This is on the way, way to all time highs, folks. 501. Now, I expect when you get to 501, you'll back off a bit, but my take is that we're going to actually break 501. This copper deal is a big deal. That's why you see BHP going after uh, Anglo, which is $36 billion deal. They're going to have to come up with more money than that, but the bottom line, that's what that's all about. Get notes and bonds. 10 year note up 11 ticks, trading 107.30. The 30 year up 24 at 114.19. Now, both notes and bonds, they're trying to get off the low. Wednesday is Fed Day. You're going to have some high volatility. We get 2 o'clock is going to be the statement. 2.30 is going to be the news conference. That's going to move markets. And King Dollar. King Dollar down 314 ticks, trading 105, 624, Euro 107, Yen 156, British pound 125 to 1 US dollar. We get over and take a look at the SPY, Qs, doesn't matter what you bring up, they all want higher price, folks. We rejected lower price today at 507 on the SPY. You're at 510 right now. The first time any flax is gonna come in the SPY is this is 512. So I suspect we're gonna be in there tomorrow and we'll see how it's gonna attack that number. The Qs, same type of setup. I'll get to the number for the Qs here. So the number in the Qs, excuse me, folks, Right now you're up a buck seventy-five. You're rejected four twenty-nine. You're at four thirty-two. Four thirty-five eleven is the number. That's the number. So, the way this is setting up, man, is that number one, you're going to go into the downdraft bar tomorrow, and then Wednesday is going to be fireworks, man. So we're going to be right next to these highs, uh, and then let's go over to the dollar quickly because that's when you see the the dollar gave it up coming into the close, and that's why I saw the S&P basically go higher. Dollar is down 316 ticks, 316 ticks. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Come back and visit us tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock.